Hi everyone, Tim the Plain Man here and welcome to Plain Time Artificial Intelligence Edition. This is about autopilot and artificial intelligence and this here, which just arrived from my good friend Frank at C and C makes some really nice products, including this is the CA8 mini gimbal camera that you may have seen flying on my Redback Spider, and also I've put it on my DT Bird at one point. But what we've got here is artificial intelligence. Now, you may have seen previously my video about plane follow mode. Now, that was very interesting because when I did in fact, I did drone follow mode. I had the drone following the plane around. And then I did some stuff that I haven't fully finished yet. And there'll be some interesting video coming about plane follow mode in Pilot. I'm working on a very, very cool project. More to come on that. Some people posted when I did autonomous drone follow mode or autonomous plane follow mode that, well, that wasn't really autonomous because... I was getting telemetry from one vehicle and the telemetry was going to the other vehicle and the other vehicle then knew directly from telemetry, GPS, position, location and altitude information that was being directly sent to the second vehicle and knew exactly where to go. Now that is absolutely autonomous, it's the definition of autonomous. But what it isn't is artificial intelligence because it needs the first vehicle to specifically send telemetry to the second vehicle. With this, it should be possible to have the second vehicle follow the first vehicle just by using the camera feed from a camera like this. I should be able to follow the, another vehicle. And that should be very interesting. So let's take a look inside the box and see what we get. And when then we'll be talking about, and there'll be more to come because I'm going to be doing a very interesting project to implement this artificial intelligence module on this Redback Spider. Okay, and here, this little black box is a 10 TPU artificial intelligence module with connectivity for UART, a TF card, so an SD card, a USB connection, and LAN ports, specifically for connecting to the A8 mini camera, power and LAN 1 and LAN 2. This little module, and you know what, it'll be very interesting to see what that weighs. This 88 gram module, so it's not gonna go on your smallest planes, It'll be fine on the Redback Spider. This thing can carry a lot of weight. This little module, in combination with a number of the different uh, CE gimbal cameras, I have the A8 Mini, but uh, CE has a, a whole range of uh, advanced gimbal cameras, including some thermal cameras that will support artificial intelligence uh, interpretation of the video feed and then a feed from the module to a flight controller well that will be that will be the project the project will be how can I connect a autopilot flight controller such as here we have the cube red with Ethernet connectivity with the CE A8 mini gimbal camera and the CE AI tracking module 2 to enable this drone to follow an RC plane without needing a telemetry feed. That's my goal. That's the project. That's what I want to achieve. So it'll be fun to see what happens when I connect that together, partly because some of the CE products seem to expect um, and initially I found this with the A8 Mini that kind of the design was that it had to be connected to the HM30 control module that CE sells that's a really good system but quite expensive and not the Express LRS that I typically use with 
uh, my Audi Pilot builds. So the, the same question will come up with that with this tracking module. Can I use it with a standard Audi Pilot configuration with Express LRS as my telemetry? We shall see. It basically can recognize any object, a specific object. It also has insulator, human, uh, automobile and boat built in. Uh, we shall see how it does with a, a, an RC plane or a drone. It uses 8 watts of power, needs 11 to 25 or in other words 3S to 6S power and that should be fine for the builds I'm going to be putting it in. This is a 6S build here so the power should be fine. It can do uh, lock target, auto zoom, center target and in particular AI follow and that's the one I'm really interested in trying to get this to do AI follow an RC plane or a drone and its weight 88 grams according to the spec 88 grams according to my scale so that's it for the video because most interesting is what's to come uh, how the project will go of connecting this to the A8 mini so unboxing done Tim the Plane Man, over and out.